I find it to be a great relief that in balance view training, when I met, especially when I met the training, it wasn't like I was given a set of behavioral, behavioral rules that I need to follow. Like when your mom is calling you again at 2 p.m. and you're just eating your lunch, answer the phone and say, I love you. That's rule number one. Or when you wake up in the morning depressed, run around and do 10 push-ups. Or all kinds of things. No rules. No rules. We are all so capable to be of great benefit and that's how we, we, we are born like that, being of great benefit, open, vast and clear. And in the training we simply get tools to recognize it in our everyday life and this is something I will be forever grateful for because from living a contrived life based on how can I make my day have the most positive data, the most positive thoughts, emotions and sensations and focusing only on that, now I see that my days are open and free and spontaneous to just respond to what's needed for the benefit of all. It's really brilliant and it doesn't require any thinking. When we start to think about our data streams, there's so much to be fixed and so much to be corrected. Lots of negativity usually and I know many people, including myself, where I tried really hard to understand the source of my negative thoughts and emotions and while trying to understand them I also tried to get rid of them or replace them with a better thought or emotion. I thought that positive is better than negative in terms of my data streams. You know, creating a balance sheet, how positive, how many positive data streams I have today, how many negatives and in applying tools that confirm that I'm somehow incorrect in my process of thinking or feeling. So it's very confusing altogether. And when a society comes together uh, from this basic misunderstanding that there's something wrong about ourselves, then we create mess. While there's great attempts to create benefit without the basic education in the nature of our intelligence, it's impossible to really break the glass ceiling of reification of giving an independent nature to thoughts, emotions and sensations. There's always a sense of victimhood, someone to blame. I'm a victim of my circumstances. So for those of you who are starting today in the empowerments, the 12 empowerments, one of the key points of empowerment, one is giving up the right to be a victim of data streams. And I remember when I first read it in 2008, I was like, wow, that's brilliant. Do I, I have a choice? Do I have a choice? And I wanted to call my uh, high school teachers and my university teachers, my mom. Why you didn't tell me that I have a choice in every moment? I wanted to call Bollywood producers and ask them why they don't put it as the theme songs in the movies. I was like, whoa, this is massive, you know, this is big. It needs to be spoken and shared about and, and so people can recognize that in each moment we have a choice whether we are a victim of our constant flow. Look how random it is. Just now, while I'm waving my hand, what are you thinking? It's so <laughs> random, right? <laughs> Doesn't make sense, make sense, logical, not... Oh, you know, let it be as it is. Letting things be as it is doesn't mean that we become idiots or passive. It actually activates wisdom that is unavailable while we are focused only on what appearing in our mind content. The ability to be on a mountain top and see clearly all of intelligence everywhere and gradually so by the practice of relaxing body and mind for short moments repeated many times. So whether you have like the most amazing thoughts and emotions right now or the worst ones, I'm not pointing to anyone specifically, let it be as it is and see that there is immediate relief. And that's where we find immediate benefit and power. Because the energy doesn't go anymore, the focus doesn't go anymore to fixing and focusing, indulging, avoiding and replacing. That's very tiring and I tried this indulging, avoiding and replacing for almost 20 years of my life. I met the Balance Street Training when I was 25. So almost 20 years of my life, since I can remember myself, I was constantly focusing on that. 
the results weren't too exciting. I mean, I, I lived an okay life, but it, comparing to the life I live now, it's quite magical, I have to say, because I'm not a victim of my data streams. Gradually, taking short moments repeated many times, the instinctive recognition of open intelligence becomes more and more obvious. So the obviousness of open intelligence becomes obvious. And open intelligence is not something like out there, it's our intelligence, what's looking. So we claim it in short moments. We enjoy the soothing and refreshing energy of open intelligence in a short moment. When I completed the 12 empowerments, I was ready to have them the short moments automatic. I mean, I just completed the 12 empowerments, that's what I contributed to, and I was like waiting. Be automatic, for God's sake. I don't want to waste another moment, you know. So I was like really rigorous in my practice of taking short moments, checking if it's automatic or not, asking my friends around, do you think I'm in the automatic? <laughs> so... You know, to be acknowledged as the one who did it the fastest, or <laughs> all kinds of funny, funny ideas. But it's just sweet, you know, it's very sweet. And there were moments where I felt, wow, I, I really got it, and that's amazing. And there were so many insights. And then there were other moments where challenging data streams came up, like anger or jealousy or whatever is your f favorite affliction. Things came up and I was like, wow, I lost it completely. Everything that I gained in all these months or years, then I lost it completely. And that's where the Four Mainstays are so brilliant, because when we are joining in a practice or jumping into a practice like that, we need support and we need empowerment, because there are so many ideas along the way that can be really confusing. Like, I got it, I lost it. That's a very common idea for many people. So for me, when I felt like I lost it, then an email to my trainer or, or participating in, in a training set, opened up this data stream and showed really in lack of recognition of open intelligence, what allows me to recognize that there is lack of recognition is open intelligence, inseparably so. So I can relax even with that one, not getting it. Did anyone ever feel that you you don't get it? Or you lost it? It's brilliant. And you feel like it comes again, you lost it, you lost it, and at one point, okay, it's just like, okay, I lost it, fine, <laughs> I can still <laughs> be of benefit, cheerful, so that's, that's really the key point, you know, where the inseparability, there's no struggle with data streams. Like the color blue and the sky, they don't struggle, they're inseparable, indivisible, not two. And with overwhelm, I, I loved your question, because in the past where I would feel overwhelmed, there would be an array of data streams that I can use as antidotes. One of them, drinking, smoking, sex, gossipy, gossiping, criticizing, exercise, um, watching Bollywood movies. There's nothing wrong with all the things I just said. Uh, um, or whatever. So I would do something in order to get rid of the overwhelming feeling in order to come back to track. And I remember one time where I had like, I don't know, many emails in my inbox and like many projects on my to-do list and I felt like so, it was in Australia and there were so many things that I wanted to and needed to do and felt committed to do in a good way. And I wrote to my trainer and I thought he would tell me to change something, but actually the instruction then for me was to carry on in complete relaxation, to really take it as an opportunity to completely relax with everything that shines forth. Overwhelming feeling, thinking like I will collapse or go mad, and just really committing to prioritizing co complete relaxation. It sounds contradictory, wait, there's so much to do, complete relaxation, what are you talking about? So I think I responded in a more polite way, but asking, you know, there's lots to do, I don't have time to relax. So he clarified to me uh, that actually in complete relaxation, there's more energy and more clarity and also the ability to say, hey, I need support, I need help. It will be helpful to give this task to more people to do or you'll see the solutions are inseparable from that. But trying to get rid of, of the data stream of overwhelm, it's neutralizing our potency. 
Trying to get rid of any data stream is very neutralizing. Trying to have only positive data streams also, we are neutralizing a beneficial potency. Allowing it to be as it is, it's activated. The fire of benefit is alive and getting stronger and stronger. And that's how we want to live. That's where true stability is found. True stability is not like measuring which data streams we have and trying to rearrange them. It's like trying to rearrange space. Now I can sit all day and do these movements, but I'm kind of hopeless and useless in this moment. But if I allow it to be as it is, there's openness and peace and clarity and discernment. Fear and anger and all, all of these are great reminders, especially in the beginning, they are great reminders of take a short moment. Take a short moment of brilliant open intelligence. See how different it feels than focusing on that, on, on the data stream. An entire world opens up where before maybe we felt collapsed and victimized and stuck in descriptions. Also what is powerful in the Balanced View training is that by sharing openly we normalize everything. Like in the past I thought that I'm the only person who have like some days that I'm sad and some days that I'm really happy. And I thought, wow, it's only me and maybe another friend who had the courage to share about it. Or the one who has funny afflictive data streams or desire that is a bit like, uh, <laughs> you know, something that is not written in the books of the correct human being, version 2016. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so this is okay. Smile. <laughs> Be angry. Show off. What about like, and then relying on open intelligence and we know, gradually we get to trust and have confidence, natural confidence in the ability to be of benefit of speech, mind, body qualities and activities. And it doesn't look a certain way, so there's no really uh, the correct or even the beneficial participant in the Balanced View training. There's nothing like that. Each one of us, we come to the training already beneficial and empowered. And this becomes more and more obvious to us. So. It's just great relief and it takes the time it takes, it's, it's gradual and that's why it's important to have the empowerment network because it's almost like a big vast expense that we need to get used to. So it's not just throwing people there with an introduction and a simple practice but really saying, wow, we are forever here for you. If you want to take it all the way, you have endless texts, audios, videos, powerful people who can share their experience, participants, community friends, everything is available to you, so you are never alone. Never alone in this with yourself and your own thoughts and emotions. There's always support, 24-7 support on live chat. This is really the way to move forward individually and collectively. And um, with, with that, just to say, there are times where I needed to respond very powerfully and directly to situations where it was obvious that I need to do something in order to stop harm and bring forward benefit. And it becomes clear to us on, at the moment, each time, place and circumstance, how to respond best. So it's not like what was stated in the talk, it's not always just peaceful, not only peaceful response. It can be completely whatever is needed. All the, all, everything is available. So that's very powerful to recognize as well, that we have all the tools, everything that we need to do in order to be of benefit, skillful means. So there's no, we had situations here in Goa which were very violent and we needed to act. As a team, we just took the right steps and, and, and we cleared the situation in a powerful way to the best of our ability and we learn from that so there's also the openness to learn that's that's really beautiful